Hi, I'm Phil Clay and I work at Heatilator in Consumer Care. We're here to talk today about what to do if your fireplace doesn't start when you try to light it. There are a couple troubleshooting things that I'd like to walk you through in that situation. Okay, I tried to light this fireplace and it wouldn't light when I asked it to. So the first step is to determine whether I have a standing pilot system or an intermittent pilot system, kind of an electronic ignition. I look in the fireplace and I don't see a pilot light. Now that could mean that I have a standing pilot system and I need to light the pilot, or I have an intermittent pilot system and it just isn't lighting. So to determine that, I need to get into the controls area of the fireplace so I'm going to remove the decorative front and we're going to take a look in here and I'll show you how to determine what kind of fireplace you've got. Now that we have the decorative front off, we can locate the controls area of the fireplace. We want to find the control valve. All fireplaces have a control valve, but not all control valves are the same. In this fireplace system, we can see the control valve has a knob to adjust the flame height higher or lower. And that's the only knob we're seeing. We're not seeing a knob that says pilot on and off. If you had a standing pilot system, you would see that knob. This system, the pilot is lit electronically, automatically when we turn the fireplace on. If you did see the pilot on off knob, like this, you have a standing pilot system. Your pilot light should be lit all the time. If it's not lit, you can refer to the pilot lighting instructions on this website. Now that we've determined that we have an intermittent pilot ignition fireplace, we want to know if it's sparking and trying to light the pilot. We do that by visually looking into the fireplace, attempting to turn it on, and seeing if we can visually see a spark. If you don't see a spark in your fireplace, you want to check to see that your ignition module is plugged in. If it is plugged in, make sure there's power to the fireplace. Once we've determined that we do have spark to the fireplace and power, and we still don't get a fire, we need to make sure we have gas. The manual gas shutoff valve is located in this part of the fireplace. It has either a bright red, like this one, or a bright blue manual valve. When the valve handle is in this position, the gas supply is on. Now that we've looked at two or three different things to get your fireplace started, if it still won't light, we ask that you contact your local dealer. They are your best resource to get your fireplace lighted safely, easily, and quickly. To find a local dealer, please visit heatilator.com Click on the Get Service and Support button under the Owner Resources tab to find your qualified local dealer.